I'd like to point out that if you're going to adopt a pet, please, please adopt a pet that needs a rescue. Or adopt me. For some reason, I just woke up one morning and I'm like, I think we're gonna get a cat. And I went down to the pound and it was like around 4th of July. This was a year ago. And they were like $10. This Ooh. is as cheap as they get, so. I'm pretty cheap. Like Dolly Parton. Okay, so I went down initially to get this cat. It was an old, bitchy looking cat online at the mm. ASPCA. Old, bitchy looking <laughs> orange cat. Rawr! So I went down like, I'm gonna get that cat. They don't open until, I think it was like 11. I'm like, well, I gotta go to work. So then right across the street is the Orange County Services, Animal Services, AKA the Pound. And so I'm just like looking for cats and then I see this pretty cat, it's like marmalade cat. I'm like, oh, it's a nice cat. And then I walked all the way around, like they have tons and tons. And I went back and I got Nacho. He was my $10 cat who has now cost me $10,000. Because he was hiding in your roommate's car in the engine. <laughs> Nacho rode to the grocery store in the engine. Ow. The cat, he's wild and crazy. I tried to make him indoor cat. It was not a happy, harmonious home whatsoever. So I started letting him out. He would go away for a couple days. He'd go away for three days. And one day, one day he's gone for like a week. And then finally he was gone. I think it was about two weeks. And I'm like, well, he's gone. Something got him. She like had moved on. I moved on. I'm like, okay, I got it out of jail. Until people online were saying, I think we found your cat. Yeah, he was sitting like on an electrical box, like blocks over. Living life. And I think there was a lady feeding him. He's got a, wait, a, wait. He's got a granny girlfriend on another street over there that feeds him. And then he comes back. So Nacho's a cheater. He's a cheater. Don't ever trust the gingers. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs>